So when I talk about streams, what do I mean? If you you are you are playing the guitar, you pluck the guitar. You are trying to vibe, set that uh, the spring into vibration, you end up producing a sound by disturbing the air molecule around that area. Now, uh, vibration in string instruments is done this way. Let's look at this. Everything I'm doing right now is a, a replica of what you have here. Remember, I was talking about loop, loop. This is one, two, three. Four. This is four loops. So what we have here in full is just two wavelengths. This is one full full wavelength is one complete circle. One full wavelength is one complete circle. So what you have here is this is uh, one and two. So we have two oscillations here. Two oscillations equals to what two wavelengths. Now, let's consider this as, uh, we are considering this right now, vibration in strings. Let's consider this as, as a spring of a guitar. Let's call this A and B. The spring of a guitar is a replica of a standing wave. If you Plug this screen, this spring here, you are going to see something like this. A standing wave will be generated. A standing wave will be generated in this order. A standing wave will be generated in this order. Do you understand? Let me draw it properly. A standing wave will be generated in this order. That is it. You have something like this. Now, as I was saying, this looks like this. Now, what you have is you have um, you have a node here. This is a node here. This is your node. Or oh, let me just write my A yes. You have your node here. You have another node here. Right? And here you have an A. And an antinode here. Antinode has simply those openings, those openings. Now, if you can bring this out, this looks like one loop, right? Say yes now. Yes, it looks like one loop. So, this is the length of the guitar that was plucked. And let's look at this from here to here as the length. L of this guitar. And let's look at here to here as the wavelength of this guitar. And because this wavelength is one loop, we are saying this wavelength is equivalent to what? One all over two. So physically, we can say that L is equal to lambda all over two. You can call this your equation star. Take note, we are looking at vibration in string instruments. Vibration in strings or string instruments. Are we good? Very good. Uh, now, recall from your general wave equation that your V is equal to lambda your V is equal to lambda F. Call this your equation star star. Call this your equation star star. L, your L is equal to lambda over 2 from here. Your V is equal to this. Now, we want to generate what we call fundamental frequency, right?
Fundamental frequency is, is given as F naught. Fundamental frequency is given as F naught. Now, from this equation, write, let F be equal to what? F naught. Are we good? We are good. From equation star, make lambda the subject formula. So from equation star, we have L is equal to lambda all over 2. And this implies that your lambda is equal to what? 2L. So lambda is equal to 2L. We call it equation star, star, star. Now, we are going to substitute uh, equation star, star, star into equation star, star. And remember that we have changed our F to be equal to what? F naught. Do you understand? I believe you do. I believe you do understand very well. So we are saying that V is equal to what? 2L lambda naught. So we are going to make lambda naught the subject of the formula. We are going to make this guy the subject of the formula. So what do you have? You have F naught. Let me do it step by step. So we have V is equal to 2L F naught. If you divide both sides by 2L, 2L, this we go and this we go. So it implies that, it implies that your F naught is equal to what? V all over 2L. V all over 2L. V all over 2L is what we call the fundamental frequency. Then what do you mean by fundamental frequency? The fundamental frequency is the frequency that is obtained in one single loop of vibration in a spring instrument. It is a frequency that is obtained in one mode of vibration. These are the operational terms you use. The frequency that is obtained in one single loop, in one mode of vibration, is what we call the fundamental frequency. And it is given as F naught is equal to V all over 2L. F naught is equal to V all over 2L. So what we have here in summary is that our F naught is equal to what? V divided by what? 2L. We can call this our equation number one. Is that understood? So this diagram here is a, is, a, is a vibration that is obtained in one single loop of vibration. We call this fundamental mode of vibration. The fundamental mode of vibration produces what we call fundamental frequency. Fundamental mode of vibration produces what we call fundamental frequency, as you can see here. We derive this frequency following all the steps down to this stage. I will clean the board and introduce something very, very new. Can I clean this? Yes, I can. So in summary, what we have here is this. What we have here is F naught is equal to what? V all over 2L. Please take note. We have F is equal to V all over 2L. Okay. Now, there's what we call harmonics and overtones. You will, you, 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 you will be asked to calculate the first harmonic, second harmonic, First overtone, second overtone. How do you go about it? Very, very, very simple. Just relax and watch what I will do. So let's look at harmonics. 
harmonics and over tools in string or strings or string or string instruments. Now, if this is the first mode of vibration, this first mode of vibration that produces a fundamental frequency F not is equal to V over 2L is also called the first harmonic. First harmonic. Harmonic always carry frequencies of harmonic always carry a, a, a knot in the front. Now it is mathematically wrong for me to write one X, but however I can write two X. Do you understand? I can write X, two X, three X, four X, but it is mathematically wrong for me to write one X. Now I will teach you a song. Let's go. So this is first harmonic. First harmonic is given as what? V all over 2L. And this first harmonic produces a zero over tone. Do you get what I'm saying? So I can say first harmonic, zero over tone. Second harmonic, first over tone. Third harmonic, second over tone. Fourth harmonic, third over tone. Fifth harmonic, fourth over tone. And so on and so forth. So this is first harmonic. We have what? Zero over two. So what I say is that first harmonic is equivalent to what? Zero over two. It's equivalent or it's equal to what? It's equal to zero over two. Now, second harmonic is written this way. 2F naught. And this 2F naught simply means what? Multiply this figure. Multiply this by 2. Multiply this by 2. And you are going to get what? This. Let me explain what I'm talking about. When we say that second harmonic we mean 2 times v all over 2l and if you work that out you are going to end with cancelling this and cancelling this so you are left with what v all over l and this v all over l is first what first over 2 the over 2 are written this way a coil F with a one in the front, with a figure in the front. So you have what? Second harmonic, first over two. So if you meet a question where the examiners are asking you to calculate the first over two, this is it here. They are simply asking you to calculate the second over two. I mean, calculate the second harmonic. Calculate the first over two in a string instrument simply means what? Calculate the second harmonic. Now, the third harmonic, 3F naught, simply means what? 3 times V all over 2L. And this is equivalent to what? If you work it out, you're going to have 3V over 2L. And this is same as what? Second over 2. How about fourth over 2? Fourth over 2 means 4F naught. It means what? 4 times V all over 2L. And if we work it out, we will have what? 2 here 1, 2 here what? 2. So you have what? 2V all over L. 2 will cancel here 1, 2 up, up here 1, 2. So we have 2V all over L. And this is the same thing as what? F3. So you have first over 2, I mean first harmonic, first harmonic, First harmonic, zero over two. Second harmonic, first over two. Third harmonic, second over two. Fourth harmonic, third over two. So if examiners are asking you to calculate the third over two in a spring or uh, a string instrument, 
They are simply asking you to calculate what? The fourth overturn. Is that understood? We are going to look at vibration in pipes right now. Vibration in pipes. And before we do that, I want you to know that everything that we have done here is the same thing for open pipes. Is the same thing for open pipes. Do you understand? I will explain that later as I explain here. So I will clean this quickly. 